So if our first touch is good, it doesn't give the opposition any chance to get tackles in. It gives them very little opportunity to compete with us for the ball. And it means we can play football almost without the opposition even being in the picture. Does that make sense? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come off the yellow pole. Kevin is going to pop balls at you here. Tough balls, low, high, flat, bouncing. And they're going to be coming fast at you, okay? And you have to win the ball, moving forward, first touch good, and then solo out and put it back. You see the diamond that the balls are in? So you don't put it near, around, behind, before. You don't bounce it, throw it. You place the ball back in the diamond. Kevin needs it to keep it firing. Is that okay? So, uh, just a wee reminder before you go, okay? If the ball's coming low, we want to try and get their chest behind the ball. Get to the ball and you're moving through it the whole time. You don't wait on it. You don't let it bounce and take it here. You move forward the whole time. The faster you can move to the ball, the faster you can take it cleanly, the better the footballer you are, okay? Now, don't worry about the ball bouncing off you for now, okay? Concentrate on moving to the ball all the time and then we'll get the first touch clean, okay? But waiting on the ball and catching it is worse than moving to it and it bouncing off you. Is that clear? So moving to it through the back of the ball as quickly as we can go is what we're looking for here. And Kevin will just keep the balls firing at you, okay? So there could be two or three of you moving at any one time here, okay? Go get it, Dara. Good hands, unlucky. So if the ball's coming in the air, if you're really confident, you can attack it and take it high with your hands, okay? But until you're really sure, okay, you can still get off the ground and attack the ball, but I want to make sure you get it into your chest. So if you win it high with your hands, get it into your chest straight away. Or if you're attacking the ball, you can still take it on your chest, in the air or low, anywhere. Just get it straight in, okay? That eliminates, if we take it with our hands in front and a wee fumble, or if we try and take it down here with our fingers and a wee fumble, okay? We want the ball secure, okay? Tino, I think you did four and dropped two. Is that fair? Okay, so we're much better than that. Most important thing is our first touch. That's what we're working on, okay? But attack the ball all the time. Attack the ball. So there shouldn't be wee stutter steps into the ball. If it's high, move into it. If it's low, move through it, okay? We don't need to slow down, okay? Otherwise, imagine a defender behind you or an opposition player. He's going to be going to the ball as well. But if you've moved earlier and you keep moving to the ball, he can't get to it, okay? So we're going to do it again for a couple of minutes and we're going to do it faster and we're, our hands are going to be better, okay? And when we win the ball, we're going to explode out to Kevin to leave the ball back. Solo and bounce. 